and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, first, I want to thank all my Patreon members who helped make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much, and if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. Okay, you guys, before we do the plan or journal, junk journal with me, I want to show you these awesome goodies in this mini Dollar Tree haul that I got the other day. Look at these incredible stickers. I got three different packs. And to me, they are set up and look just like Mambi or Me and My Big Ideas 365 stickers. Of course, they're not as many, but they are really nice quality stickers. And my camera is going to be auto focusing because they are so shiny. <laughs> they're all, you know, the glossy kind of stickers and there's a lot of glue bouncing off the lighting. But these are really good quality stickers and this pack that I'm flipping through right now I'm actually giving away in my Facebook group and I'll tell you about that group here at the end and then here's another pack this one I love llamas and so does my daughter and so I got another pack for her of these and they are super cute I started using my pack already and they are just adorable and really diverse you know lots of different options on each of the different pages very very colorful lots on each each page and I just love them so yeah this is all in one pack I can't believe it it's from Dollar Tree you guys and these were actually behind a box that they had not unpacked when they got a shipment and it's, it was hidden and I just kind of saw a little corner of them and then I went back to get the one for my daughter a few days later and that box was still blocking them so what I wanted was still there but these are so cute too look at that with the panda and the cat and the puppy and the kind of a outer space theme on the front it doesn't doesn't seem like that theme continued but anyway they're really nice stickers <laughs> And I'm so excited to have gotten them at Dollar Tree and I hope that they will continue to do these stickers and it's not just a one-time thing you know and what about this is this not incredibly adorable this tape dispenser in the shape of a swan I had to get that that was the first thing that I saw at the store that day that I was like I'm getting that I don't need it but it is so cute and then I got another little um, photo album to use for stickers. I'm actually going to put the flake stickers that I create when I use a stamp on sticker paper or doodle on sticker paper. Yeah, so now it's time to go ahead and get in the junk journal with me. I wanted to show you that on this tag I finally put some type of ribbon on it and that is actually a scrap of fabric. And now I have another blank page, which I had a lot of blank pages, mixed media pages in this junk journal. And this time I'm going to cover those pages with a full sheet of craft paper. And this really pretty yellow, which is just going to be the background. And I'm just going to use a glue stick to cover one side and get it lined up on that envelope, which is on the other side of the page, because I want to go all the way to the bottom of that. And now I'm just going to line that up and press that in. I'll use my bone folder to make sure I get it in there really well. And then, of course, I'm going to do the other side. And I didn't want to do it all at once. I thought it would be easier to make sure I lined it up on one side. And then my bone folder. And now I'm just going to fold it, or I just folded it over. I'm just trimming one side, and then I'll lay that down and trim the other little piece and now it all looks good I didn't mind that one side is longer than the other because um, when I'm gonna trim this excess here or excess here <laughs> but I thought it'd be cool to still have that right side be a little bit longer than the other have something sticking out now it's time to collage so this uh, what am I going to start with? Not the bag. I thought about it, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to put that on. 
tell you about that. I actually got that bag in a set of bags years ago from Dollar Tree, those little party bags. But this was, I got recently from Dollar Tree in a haul that I showed in a previous video. And it's those stickers that you get. They're like wall hanging stickers or wall stickers. And um, I'm just gonna cut around the part that I want to be included on this page. Plus I wouldn't have been able to include the whole sticker anyway. And I'm fussy cutting a portion of it but it, I wouldn't have been able to use the whole sticker because it's just too tall so I'm just kind of fussy cutting around this flower um, and making it look like I think I want it to look to fit on the page and of course it's still too tall so I'm going to mark with a pencil to trim where I want it to stop I could have used my paper trimmer but I didn't. I have my scissors handy. Yeah. And now I'm going to just lay it there from, I'm going to focus on the bottom left corner to line it up. And I think it looks good. Okay. Now I'm going to use my bag. It's longer than I want it to be. I'm going to have a tag sticking out. And so I kind of did a little, I don't know, zigzag trim, but I wanted it to be even. So I just folded it over and that works. Now I'm going to use some of my double-sided tape that I also got from Dollar Tree. I buy this every time I go because it's really good, really good double-sided tape. Of course, I did that on three sides so that I would have one side open to put the tag in. And I'll peel all those pieces off and line that up at the bottom toward the middle. Now I'm just looking for what little piece of paper I want to use as a tag. Now that was pretty with colors, but it doesn't work. And um, I, I don't know if you saw, I pulled out a little tag that was from some packaging that I'm gonna use later. And so yeah, this um, that I'm pulling the scraps out of is a old Jane Davenport traveler's notebook that I've had for a while. And I started setting up some pages in there for holding ephemera. When I finish that, I'll share that with you guys in another video. And I'm just gonna make a tag out of this little scrap of paper. I wanted to make sure it stuck out the right amount. So I'll just fold the corners at the top and trim it. And then there you have a tag, super easy. And I'll just use my hole punch to punch a hole in the middle. Yeah, and that will work. And I don't have any ribbon that I would like to use for that right now, so I'll do that later. But yeah, this little, um, oh, I was getting ready to work with that tag, but it still wasn't time yet. I think I wanted to use it on the left side of the spread, but then it was gonna interfere with the envelope on that side. So now I'm gonna use some vellum. My friend John Rush gave me a piece of vellum the last time I saw him. Actually, a couple of sheets of vellum. And so I'm going to use this to kind of overlay and I just use some double-sided tape to put it up there and now I'm just going to trim on the other side yeah I think that looks really nice I think all the colors so this and this junk journal I'm really blending all these colors and there are lots of really beautiful colors and I happen to have several things that have all of these same colors in it and I just um, use the yellow for the background which is one of those colors and so that's how I'm color matching this time and that was a birthday card I got for my birthday last year for my super uh, super <laughs> my my uh, sister-in-law gosh I can't talk and so it's wider than I needed it to be and I had put the double-sided tape all the way over to the edge I wasn't paying attention so I had to glue where it actually stops and then I'll find some stuff in my scrap stash to just cover that up which I'll use in another video um, when I work on the next spread and so I'm just covering it up it still was a little too short so I had to find another little scrap and unfortunately um, it's out of frame when I put that piece on there I apologize for that but you can see a part of it, but it's right there on the other edge of the double-sided tape. And now I just want to put something at the bottom of the right side. In this um, traveler's notebook, I shared in a previous video how I made it into a ephemera 
Traveler's Notebook. So check that out. And um, this, what I wanted to do is just fill some, put something in that space on the left side, on the right side of the left side of the spread, right up here is what I'm talking about. I just felt like it needed something right there. So I'm gonna put this little scrap that blends in with the colors, but it still is too naked to me. So I was trying to find out, find a way to use this, but it won't work there because I've got the envelope and something in on the other side. And, uh, but it works here. So I'm still going to go back and add something to that pink scrap up there, but this will work. Now it was too long for me to use my mini stapler, so I had to turn my, or that way, so I had to turn my stapler the other way to get it on there. And I love it! I'll eventually put something through that hole as well. And now I'm looking for something to go on that pink scrap and something to go in the bottom middle of the right side of the spread. So purple will definitely work, but that first little piece, yeah, that one didn't work. But I think the, the square will. And then later on, I can't really decide where I want it to go exactly, but I need another little piece of something. And then I find it, which I cut out of another birthday card from last year. And so now it's like, do I want the purple here or up at the top and vice versa? So. I was thinking maybe that I needed something else. I wasn't sure if I was really happy with these two pieces. So I started looking for something else. I thought I would use those little floral specks there, but then when I went to position it, it did not work. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm gonna stick with the little uh, purple piece, which was from um, some kale. You know, the fresh greens you get at the grocery store. I save those because they're just nice and colorful. So I decided to put that up at the top over that pink scrap. I thought that would work as long as I had some washi tape so I could flip it up and write something underneath. And then I'm just going to put some more washi tape under the flipped up part to make sure it stays secure. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I had a little excess tape on the top piece of washi, so I'm just gonna cut that so it doesn't stick to everything when it's closed. Now I'm going to put that, I want that happy birthday, but I remembered that I had cut out some balloons from some junk mail, you know, just the sales ads that come in the mail. It was like for appliances or something. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna cut those out and use them one day. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to glue those down to the left of the little piece that came from my birthday card. And I think it will work out perfectly. The colors, oh, the colors just work so well. Yeah, so pay attention to your junk mail. Anytime you see something colorful or pretty, you know, you can cut around stuff if it's got words on there and just use, just save it and use it. Now I can put that little birthday piece on there. And then I should be just about finished. Just wanted to write something down. On the, that little flap. And there it is, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And also comment and share. It really helps my channel a lot. And if you want to check out lots of photos of my creative ventures and adventures, just check me out on Instagram at Organized Planner Chic. I also have two Facebook groups. The local one for anyone in the Phoenix Metro is called Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ, and we normally meet in person once a month, but because of COVID-19, we are doing lives. And 
posting and all of that good stuff. And then the one for anyone around the world is called Organized Planner Chic Crew. And there we do giveaways, which is what's going on right now with that first uh, sticker pack that I showed you guys from Dollar Tree. And we also do lives and videos and post just about every day uh, to try to stay in touch and share. And then if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. And until next time, happy planning.